Saturday, you say goodbye to your career, your joy, your health, and your happiness. And tonight you get practice. Goodbye to Swerve's house. If you're going to do this, don't half-ass it. They did not half-ass it. Oh, no. It. This house burned. 14 years in prison for arson. And <laughs> I, Tony Khan on a media call just goes, I spent all night trying to get uh, Hangman kept out of jail. Mm. <laughs> Brother, how'd you do that? That out of the way. This was one of the best angles in AW history. Yeah. It was so great. Cody tries the disaster kick out the ropes and his knee buckles. And Owens is reluctant to attack. This was a babyface versus babyface match. He did not want to attack an already injured leg. I mean, friends go into UFC and if they know their friend has an injury, they don't go after it. That has happened before. But I will say I agree in the sense that the fans didn't give two shits if they were friends. Every time Kevin would not pull the trigger, these fans were pissed off. They were like, this is for the world title, dude. Fuck friendship. Go win that belt. CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre in a strap match with a stupid touch in the four corners rules. So they had a very good match. Drew gets put in a half crab, but he's not allowed to give up. Like he quits. I quit. I'm done. I give up. Ref's like, sorry. Yeah. Dude's got to hit those damn corners. By the time he hit him with the finish the fourth time, it was like, he has defeated this man soundly. He hit that last buckle. The place went nuts. I mean, he destroyed Drew McIntyre and got his first win in a decade. And then he said that he wanted, I guess, Gunther. What a match. Then Orton is introduced at 290 pounds. Honestly, he looks closer to 390. He's massive guys been around a long time has had many many different physical changes for various reasons but it'd be fun to do like a year-by-year comparison of randy orton since he got to the main roster and i'm not sure how gradual it's been but he's just a tank now he's huge vince mcmahon once told randy orton Mm -hmm. that he had a neck like a stack of dimes my name is a stack of manhole covers. Sometimes you hear that you have a neck like a stack of dimes and it affects you for the rest of your life. Apparently. It opened and closed, this show did, with two very old school matches, like a big 1970s card. The two warriors shook hands afterwards and that was that. I liked this show immensely. I thought this ended up being a really good match, but I just kept watching it being so angry. Like, why are you doing flips? Why are you spinning around? Why are you grabbing his wrist and like beat the shit out of each other? You're supposed to be pissed off. It's like, I'm so mad I'm going to hit you with a fucking tornillo. I'm going to spin and hit you on the outside. Am I the only one? This Wendy Chu Kalani Jordan match, that was done. I thought, when was the last time I saw a worse match than that on a PLE? I like Kalani Jordan a lot. And I just was so angry watching this. It's like, what are they doing? They took a woman who actually really impressed me with her wrestling in her first match, and they've turned her into a gymnast. Why? So I did not like this match at all. I thought it was the worst PLE match I've seen in... I don't even know when the last one was. I can't think of a single match involving anyone in any promotion that I want to see less than Wendy Chu versus Tatum Paxley. Sometimes they just like to slap me around. (laughs) Roxanne Perez versus Jada Parker. Now this was an excellent women's match. And then, yes, afterwards the lights went out and Julia debuted. Yep. Didn't have her braids. That upset me. I don't know how many NXT fans in Denver, Colorado know who Julia is, but they sure pop like she was a giant star. I would be stunned if Julia did not beat her for the title. A solid main event, I would say. That's fair. Obviously, Joe wasn't winning, and uh, they wanted to protect him. And so there you go. I thought that overall it was a it was a good show. One disaster after another here. We're starting 15 minutes late. I still can't find the video, Jared. Is it up? Where is everything? Granny's joining us here today via phone. We cannot connect her audio or video. It's a blank screen. I don't know what's going on. What what are we doing? Mm -hmm. Should we just quit today? I don't know what the problem is, Granny. I don't know how to fix it. I don't know what's going on. Every week, uh, Editor Sean puts out like a best of clip. Uh, Some guy, I would imagine he's probably 14 or 15 year old young man, said, why do I need to hear wrestling information from a 50 year old woman? 50, Granny. You're kidding. Oh, that's nice. We still have no video. I got a question. Where's the goddamn video at? You gotta fire Jared. All right, now it's up. Hello, everybody. Would you rather fight 
20 Brian sized Vinnies. Oh, not this one. Or one Vinny sized Brian. The 20 Vinnies would like bump into each other and fall off a cliff together like lemmings. Yeah. Outrun one of them, you outrun 20 of them. That's true. Yeah, you run, no one can catch up, then they're all tired. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, are we wrong? No, no. Yeah. I'm envisioning 20 me's trying to run somewhere. Yeah. 20 <laughs> you's trying to chase me? The saddest, sorriest race you ever saw in your life. Any advice for a successful marriage? Touch her butt often. And sure. let you know how much you like touching her butt. Dead serious. Let's move to the next question immediately. <laughs> uh, this is the one you told me to uh, do last week, Undertaker plus uh, Psycho Kid. Okay. Are you done laughing? Yeah, yes, we're done. Yes, Graham. I apologize. Um, there be more. Then Psycho Sid comes out with blonde curly hair. Hard to pull. <laughs> Lasts a while before he gets out of it. I had to give that a 10. A 10. Oh, wow. Undertaker won a match and a belt. That's a 10 on the granny scale. Uh, Victor is still at it more than ever this week, as far as the soaps go. Hell of a report, Granny. All right. <laughs> that was a 10 on the Granny Soap Opera Report scale. Okay, just a minute. Jared, you're forgiven. You have these back and forth with people that hate each other, mm -hmm. but one guy just sits and listens to the other guy talk for like five minutes. Yes. MJF says his thing. Garcia says his thing. MJF says another thing. Garcia says another thing. MJF has more to say. It's like, bro, let's get get the show on the road here. So then the other issue I had was this poor Daniel Garcia. He runs through security. He kills this dude. He kills that dude. He races up the stairs. He finally breaks through. Max just whacks him with a bottle and busts him open. Look like a fucking geek. Nobody thinks Daniel Garcia is beating MGF. Not one person on this planet can believe that. And uh, when you have a guy like that, you got to give Garcia something. You got to give him more. He did buy his childhood home. They did not burn down his childhood home. Uh -huh. They found a different home. Dude, spoilers. I'm 99% I'm sure that all of that is true. Women's championship match, kind of a big deal against the former champion. They're doing this match. It's just kind of there. And Mariah gl grabs her. Plants over the Storm Zero and wins. That was a match that happened on TV. Yeah, this is the same thing I was worried was going to happen with Mariah. They don't care if she's not hooked up with Tony. They started the match, and the fans start chanting for Tony Storm. And even Nyla turned to the crowd and was like, Hey, it's a title match here! And so they stopped, not feeling this mercedes Sheeta match. It's like Hikaru Shida facing Mercedes in a championship match. Yeah. The big hook is no Camille. <laughs> the big hook is... I don't know, man. That, it's, it's, that one ain't doing it for me. It's a mid-card match. A hell of a mean event. I thought this was a very, very good match. Everybody looked great. Got a good teaser for Pac and Will Ospreay match. Selling that for the pay-per-view. Good stuff. And then we get to the real mean event and the thing this show may be remembered for for years and years and years. Maybe more than any episode of Dynamite in 2024. And then we see a video screen of Hangman knocking on the door and saying, whose house? And Hangman starts going through the house, and he has got the most awesome monologue. It's like the best promo in the history of Hangman Page. Oh, yeah. And my God, when this crowd saw that gas can, they freaked out. And they cut back, and Swerve's eyes get wide, and that's when he starts throwing furniture around. Yeah. And you just see Nana... <sighs> he just got his hands over his face like oh no I told you for months there's nothing more in this life that I wanted than to burn your world to the ground I will not give you any mercy or forgiveness Saturday you say goodbye to your career your joy your health and your happiness and tonight you get practice goodbye to Swerve's house if you're gonna do this don't half ass it they did not half ass oh, it no. this house burned he didn't watch it burn No, over he stores. just let it burn behind him yes and that thing went up, and he just calmly sat on his recliner as that place burned. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, we got to get the one negative out of the way first. It's fucking ridiculous. 14 years in prison for arson. 
And I, Tony Khan on a media call just goes, I spent all night trying to get uh, Hangman kept out of jail. Mm. <laughs> Brother, how'd you do that? That out of the way. This was one of the best angles in AW history. Yeah. It was so great. If you want to hear me go on for 20 minutes about their lack of graphics, you can go listen to Observer live on Wednesday. I was so mad when the show was over. I almost didn't want to watch it ever again. But it is my job. I will continue to do so. But I hope that this show does a terrible number next week because people just have quit because they don't know what the fuck's going on. Trick Williams is out for a promo. He calls out Pete Dunn as the crowd is chanting, Whoop that butch, which sounds very close to something lewd. Tatum Paxley versus Rosemary. It's spooky versus spooky. The crowd quickly loses interest. Rosemary beats her up for a while. Tatum this hits- crowd was fucking dead yeah. for this match. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, positively dead. They say that uh, Trick did a diss track or something. He did. I'm like, well, where the fuck is it? Online. I got to go on X? You got to give you homework. You know how many people have quit going on X? A few. Show me the goddamn diss track for fuck's sake. God. A fucking count out. They just got outside. Did I tell you I hated this show? <laughs> it was implied. I'll identify it. I'll put up a graphic. Jared, put up a graphic. Brian Alvarez hates NXT. That's what I want the graphic to be. Yep, there we go. Thank you. Put that on there. And there's that one dude who reads a lot of books. That's literally his gimmick. He reads books. Not identified. You know what they should do? He should wrestle next week. He should wrestle like Hank. And it should just say Hank versus. But no name. Because he doesn't have a name. He's not identified. He's just that guy. Hank versus blank. That's what it should be. Did I tell you I hated this show? Which show? This NXT show here. Gotcha. Thank you, Jared. Have I ever told you Jared's the best producer we've ever had? Yes, he's actually better than Rob. He's fighting for the Heritage Cup. Brother, you went from fighting Ilya Dragunov in a championship match and almost winning. Now they've got this guy fighting for the Heritage Cup? After going 50-50 with Joe Coffey and getting fucking saved by Cedric Alexander? For weeks, I've had to have people there say, Oh! Ah, I don't get it! Ah! Fuck off! God! I'm done. Well, we're not done. There's still more show. She fucking murders Chelsea. And then she tells Roxanne, Me, you, CW. So I can only presume... I, I shouldn't presume anything with this show anymore. But you would think they would do Julia and Chelsea next week. Or the week after. Sure. To set up Julia and Roxanne, but I don't know. Oh, are we going to vote? I'm going to vote for Dynamite. I got to give it some thought. I'm going to go for Dynamite. Okay, yeah. You know, Dynamite was better. So, yes, NXT, the worst show this week. The worst show! I watched them all! And the worst show was NXT television on Tuesday night. Yes, it was minus five stars.